This is like a it's condensed, a highlighted version of the launch. Up. And then Crew Dragon is another 27 those, feet those from uniforms, the bottom right? of the trunk to the top of the nose cone. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you're, when you're out there in person, it's... It's, it's got that black and white really DG retro style. How, how large it is. Uh, Red Bear says I wait for the 30k uh, after launch. Get in the vehicle, get in the elevator, and uh, yeah, these are so streamlined. Like these, the these, these suits compared to what we used to have, it's ridiculous, man. Like they are very streamlined. I like that the astronaut has to tug on his suit. Did you see that? Did you see that? Party pants in the house and effigy. We should hear a call any moment that the Party crew has arrived at the pad as they make their way up the <laughs> stairs pants, and they're headed says to the crew access arm now. I mean, this is cool, man. And Elon Musk, we trust, man. Let's hope that the uh, Neuralink doesn't come down and zap the people, or that uh, Starlink doesn't zap the people with Neuralink, turn them into robots. <laughs> Elon Musk, please don't be an evil overlord. <laughs> Cash says, so I thought they were they waiters at NASA arrived, Cafe. Uh, at pad 39A. Where Falcon 9 will lift off from <laughs> at 3:22 p.m. Eastern time today. And then they, they cut to the, already, the launch next soon to the here. Rocket, and it's called Just the want to watch it with you guys. And also have already walked down the corridor, which is known as the crew arm, which is what they're standing in right now. That's right. And as they prepare to board Dragon, they have this one final stop that they're standing in right now, and that's the White Room. The white room is literally just the room at the end of the crew arm that has an opening into Dragon. It is the last place on planet. I feel like that was inspired by 2001 Space Odyssey, calling it the white room. <laughs> Bob and Doug are going to be standing before they step into Dragon for their ride to the International Space Station. Dude, Cash says those dudes in black look like the guys from Dune. Corn countdown one at T minus two hours and forty six right minutes. Arc? The crew has arrived at the white room and its ingress is in progress. It, it had to. Schedule. It had to have been right, Ark. <laughs> Red Bear says looks like ninjas standing around. And as they climb into Dragon, they will buckle themselves in and attach their umbilicals to their suits. And as you can see, the suit this is exciting, are man. This is so exciting. Get buckled and settled into those seats. <laughs> Space ninjas. Space ninja. And we can see the seats slowly start to rotate. Again, they're in this down position just to make it easier to climb in and out of Dragon. They'll rotate to this launch position to put their backs a little That's bit more cool. parallel to the Those ground. Seats. It makes taking the G-Force a little bit easier for the crew on the way uphill, but most importantly... Okay, can we just respect the instrumentation here? There's, like, it's just panels. It's just panels. It's just automated, guys. Like, it's to the point where it's automated. Like these guys are just along for the ride. Now, of course, there's like they're they they were testing out manual maneuvers out in space, and they're gonna they're they're going to be able to fly this capsule uh, once it's detached. It's already detached. It's up there right now, but uh, like look at those panels. It's it's an iPad. Ross is right. It's literally an an iPad. And an effigy says three MFDs. <laughs> it's three MFDs, dudes. Like wow. I don't know if that made me feel nervous, man. I like that tactile feel. Like, uh, give me a hotas or something. Like, <laughs> please, some 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 oars. <laughs> can, you give, can you give me something? Like, I I don't. Oof. I don't know how I feel about that. Positions those touchscreens directly in front of them, which is just their gateway into Dragon. Dragon SpaceX seats here in the launch position. We copy. Yeah, exactly. Execute. That totally agree, dude. To retract the access arm on time. SpaceX Dragon displays are configured for launch. Here we go. Bob, Here we go, Doug, fam. On behalf of the entire SpaceX team, it's been a huge honor to help you get ready for today's historic mission. Know that oh, we're with dudes. you. Have an amazing flight. I actually didn't see the launch launch yesterday. Planet. I was busy. Thanks, Jay. Uh, it is absolutely our honor to be part of this uh huge effort to get uh, the united states back in the launch business uh we'll uh, talk to you from more but thank you <laughs> copy all thanks for those words falcon 9 is in startup here we Dragon go countdown fts is armed for launch 
that little capsule is all that eventually gets detached to the to the space station. System has been armed. Fifty seconds. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Dude, this makes me so, this makes me feel like a kid again watching this. Go for launch. Let's light this candle. This is down in Cape Canaveral, right? I'm pretty sure this is down in Florida. Dudes, this is awesome. This is awesome. Stage one. Did you cash? T minus 15 seconds. I love SpaceX uh, YouTube channel as well. Nine, so much information eight, there. Wow. Seven, six. Why is the count? Five, Your count's four, off. <laughs> three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go What's going on? Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Wow, man. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> that was a pretty big delay. I'm like, what's going on? Is there a problem? Wow. Check out that thing go, man. Woof. T plus 30 seconds into this historic Damn. mission. Damn. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. That, that thing. Those guys in the those guys in the capsule on top are like. <laughs> this is. Down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. <laughs> That's awesome. Reports say all. So that was awesome. So that was awesome. And they're up in space right now. They're close to the ISS. I don't know if yet they've tested the automated docking system, but wow, that's going to be really cool. That's going to be really cool. So I just wanted to watch out with you guys because that's like that's that's history right there. That's history, man. In my lifetime, I hope it's I hope I get to see the Mars mission, man. Oh, just it's so important that we start exploration again. It's so important that we get out there. Like it, it's it. We have to really just start getting out and exploring, and just become those explorers. Like we, in our hearts, are explorers. Like that's one thing that we have in common in in humanity. Wherever you're at on the globe, we are all explorers at heart. And I think the reason why we're just like things have been feeling so down lately is we all feel stuck, you know, and. I think this is just positive for the entire human race. So question says execute <laughs> first person on man uh, on, on Mars, man or woman doesn't matter. Human dude, human. I don't care. I don't care. It'll be human. And, uh, that's, that's, that's dudes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They dock in 30. We'll have to check that out. Somebody remind me in chat. Because I want to see that automated dock system. <laughs> Execute says emu and kangaroo. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. With that, with that kind of instrumentation, we could put an emu and a kangaroo in there, dude. <laughs> you know? 